Hey everybody, I am back today with a new process video. So this video was supposed to go up this morning as part of the Paul Your Way Into Our Hearts hop, which is a hop that focuses on pictures of our puppies, dogs, uh, but I didn't get to the part where I had to edit and voice over the video, uh, so it's going to go up later tonight, but I will see still go ahead and add the links for the hop to the bottom of in the description box so if you need more puppy inspiration you've got it i am going to be using the march 2023 Ki kiwi lane kit recently i hauled this kit and i wanted to use that little title piece that says how sweet it is to be loved by you, which I thought was perfect for this photo of my sweet dachshund licking and loving on my oldest son, Morgan. So I'm going through the kit, deciding what papers I want, what cards I think will work for my page idea. My idea for this layout started with this little cut apart strip that was part of the kit. I thought that it really was perfect to like tie in the bee theme. And I love that the colors in this collection aren't too pink and flowery and would work really well for a couple of photos I have of my boys, all my boys, including my puppy dog boys. So that is what I'm mostly going to be focusing on with these. this kit is a couple of pictures that I have of my kiddos. So I am going to start by matting my photo in this pretty yellow paper. I do this all the time. So I print my photos on four by six paper, but, and then I border them so that the photos are in the right aspect ratio. Since most of my photos are on, are taken on my phone. Then for whatever reason, I go cutting a four by six mat for them and it doesn't fit. It's never going to fit. So then I always have to trim it down. Someday I will learn and figure out the exact measurements to get a nice mat for my photos that I print at home. But you know what? That being said, it is what it is and I'm totally okay with it. As I cut apart all of these pretty papers, I am going to distress the edges using my old ancient distressing tool. Uh, you might be able to find one on eBay maybe. Uh, it is from, I think it's called My Memories, Making Memories. It's from Making Memories, and it is decades, decades old. And then I'm also going to ink everything using my Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink. I am cutting each of these papers at 11 inches long. In the width, I am alternating. So the first one is six, and then three and then two, I think, is what how I have it. And that gives me a lovely border around the outside edge of my page. So I'm just looking at these two patterns, making sure that I like where this is going and that I like what I'm doing. And then I am going to add a third pattern across the bottom. I decide on this red paper for my bottom strip. I'm going to cut it down and now I really, really, really like how my background is looking. And now I'm going to go ahead and kind of play with these templates. Decide what, where I want to put things. This is something I love about Kiwi Lean templates is that you can pick them up and move them and put them and figure out pretty much easily how your entire layout is going to look before you even start cutting. It kind of eliminates the worry about where things are going to go. You can do it with embellishments too, but I do love to play with pattern paper. So this is kind of awesome to me. I am going to go ahead and kind of go through all the templates that came in the kit. This layout is just going to be the kit 
everything I'm using is part of the March Kiwi Lane kit because I just, I had it open and sitting on my desk and I didn't really feel like I wanted to, um, go searching through my stash or things. So I'm deciding how I want these to go. I know I want to put that little honeycomb piece beside my or behind my photo, I'm going to do two of the flowers and have them kind of come up from my title piece. And then I know I'm going to do a little bit of um, embellishing with some hexagons. I haven't 100% decided where exactly those hexagons are going to go, but uh, that's okay. I have an idea and now I can just choose some paper and go ahead and cut and make these embellishments. Since I know my background is ready, I love that the look of the patterns. And since I know I definitely 100% want to use this title piece, I'm going to take those three patterns and the title piece. I'm going to distress them and ink them up so that they match the uh, rest of the layout. Then I can adhere them down and set this paper aside and start choosing patterns and papers for my embellishments. I'm going to cut the honeycomb in black and then I'm going to use the hexagon templates with this pattern paper because you can size it so that the hexagons are going to um, like ex accent or be have the just the right flowers like the sizes on there is really good to use with the hexagons. For my daisies, I'm actually going to go ahead and dip into my stash. I'm going to grab some white cardstock, some vellum and this solid colored coordinating cardstock for my stems. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my papers, take my templates. Um, I'm gonna put a show on TV on my, in my scrapbook room, and I'm going to trace and cut all of these fun elements for my page. I like to trace on the backside of my papers. That's just me, you can do either one. So here is my black honeycomb. I'm going to ink the edges of all of these hexagons. For my flowers, I inked the white pieces. And then on top of that, I am going to put the vellum. And then on top of the vellum, I'm going to use some pop, some foam, some mama big mama foam tape from <laughs> speak of mom scraps oh man i almost forgot what it was called and then i'm gonna pop up the centers of my flowers and i'm gonna make them daisies and then i'm gonna just ink the edges and add the stems to the daisies next up i'm gonna add accents to all of these embellishments so i'm gonna get my black pen my favorite black pen for accents. And I'm going to also get my white Arteza white pen, which is my favorite for white accents. And I'm going to add just a touch of detail to each of these uh, hand cut elements. My favorite white pens for accents right now are the Arteza 0.8 white gel pens. And I will link those up below because they are pretty fabulous. Uh, just store them upside down to keep the ink in, um, flowing. And, uh, if you start to write with them and they seem like they are skipping, just take a piece of scratch paper and kind of scribble on them and they start to flow right away. Uh, I haven't had these dry out on me and I've been using them for quite a while. I really, really like them. And now it's time to put all these pieces together. So I'm going to layer the little honeycomb hexagons behind my photo. I have my title piece. Behind my title piece, I'm going to put the little daisies. And then I'm going to move these hexagons around a little bit and kind of play with them. I knew I wanted to include them. I was also trying to decide if I wanted to add a bit of journaling somewhere. Don't like them up at the top. I, I like them against that red. I just have to kind of play with them a little bit. And so what I decide on is that, yes, I do want to do just a little bit of journaling. So I'm going to grab one of the little cut apart hexagons from that set that comes in the kit. And then I'm going to line up 
three of the hexagons across the bottom. The problem was I didn't like it when the hexagons went over the red, went outside of the red and into my background. For some reason, it just didn't look good to me at all. But when I lined them up, then I liked it. So I'm just going to line them up and I have an extra hexagon and I thought, you know what? I can put that up at the top, kind of pulling a hexagon into each set of embellishments, each area of embellishment, and also bringing a little bit more color up to the top. So I'm going to move this around a little bit, but in the end, I kind of tuck it. Yep. Right under there. Now that I'm, I'm ready to go, let's start adhering all of this down. I'm going to place everything right on the background except for my title piece which I'm going to pop up with some more Spiegel Moms but Grops Big Mama foam tape and then once I have all these things in place we need more accents. I love little details. That's what I love the most about scrapbook pages. This is my favorite. Adding the little pen details and adding um in this case, some Nouveau crystal drops. The This is the Calming Aqua color, and it is a perfect match for this kit. I will also link this up in the comments down below in case you'd like to grab some for yourself. But I'm just dotting them all around and just adding the little details, which is my favorite, favorite part. Paper and little details. And that's why we're going to call this layout all done. I will add all the links I think you'll need in the description box below, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I would love it if you would subscribe and join me as I scrapbook and chit chat and all the fun things. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.